Hello, everybody, and welcome back to OCD Hi-Fi Guy, where I go squirrely so you don't have to. So what do we have here? Looks like a, um, this is a measurement chamber. Uh, this is, uh, this is how you test a speaker if you really want accurate data, as good as you can get inside a listening room. Uh, you, first of all, you got to get a microphone and some software. Okay, so we got a mic here with a USB. It's a USB mic. It goes right over to this laptop that is dedicated to, uh, measurements. Um, no internet or whatever on it. Uh, so... You can hear, see, it's picking me up speaking right now. Ah! See? Yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, um, so, okay, so in, you get the mic in here. We got some of these little um, room dividers. You know, these are actually um, GK Acoustics. So these are, these are actual room panels, okay? We put those on the sides to keep any sort of reflections down. We got the mic in the middle. It's, uh, with, because this is such a long panel, you know, from top to bottom, we want to aim it right about in the middle so back here and we pull it back a little bit so that we're getting equal sort of arrival times better arrival times than if we put it real close put it real close we probably get cancellations because of these being so far away the, the arrival time to the mic if you know from the top and bottom so we pull it back a little bit it's about maybe five or six feet from the um, panel itself we did some testing on that mid um, which is really um, the on wall Maggie um, and then, uh, did some testing on everything else. And, um, uh, this is a very accurate way to know what you're dealing with. Um, what I do is first thing we do is we check all the driver frequency responses. Um, and I go back around here where the crossover is completely bypass the crossover. You can see right here, here's my speaker cables and they're coming in from the amp. And, um, I just clip lead on some, uh, some wire and it goes right over to, the tweeter, I was just checking the tweeter two seconds ago, and so you put a big cap on there, that's a 68, so you put like a 50 or, or, or better, somewhere around there, on the positive of the tweeter with something like a ribbon, just because if you get a thump when you turn off the amp or whatever, you're going to pop that ribbon, so um, the cap on there is a little protection, um, keeps things safe. So we went through, um, measure the mid, the tweeter, the woofer, and get readings and then we can see where they're optimally where, where their optimum uh, operational frequency range is and then we can we can design our own crossover based on those results you know and we, we try and optimize the drivers now what we've realized here measuring this thing is that that mid-range God knows why it's even there um that woofer is so freaking incredible. This panel, this woofer goes from like 40 hertz to like 10,000. I swear to God. It's a little bit down at 10, but it's probably flat to 8. It's the most linear thing I've seen. I've never seen a woofer like that. It's incredible. The mid-range, it's like this, this, the, the ribbon tweeter. Dude, I just, I just measured the ribbon tweeter. It's like I can't either, either I'm messed up or, or it's for real, but it's, it's goes from 20 down to like 300 Hertz. Um, I, I, I took a, I took a, a snapshot of the, um, of the readout. Let's see. Um, oh, it's in my folders. I'll have to find it, but I'll show you what it looked like. Let's see, Let's see if I can find it right here. Um, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Let's see. Uh, well, I'll find it and show it to you in a second. But anyway, so we set up the mic. The mic goes, um, you know, down in this little gauntlet with the panels on either side. And then you do the sweeps. I've got over here um, on the rig is, um, you know, on the Dayton audio. And this is what, you know, monophonic short sign sweep. So you play this and it goes, weep, weep, weep. Let's see if I can get it. Do it. Can you hear that? Look. See how nice that is? That's a tweeter. I'm messing it up with my voice down there, down low, but look how look how nice and flat it is all the way out to 20. That's pretty sweet. It's got a little bump in there. I don't know what the bump's from, but we can figure it out. Um, anyway, so I've got a good idea what's going to happen. You know what, what I'm going to do is I'm, 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 I'm making, I'm going to try this as a two way. Just get the mid range out of there. These, they, 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 they will overlap. No problem with just the woofer and the and that ribbon. 
It's all that's needed. So I'll bet you it's going to be really, really, really linear. We're going to have some nice response out of it. Um, anyways, so this is what you do when you're measuring speakers and you're, you're trying to play. You want to play with the crossover and everything. you got to do it from data. You can't just ear that, you know, listen. I mean, you can, but it's better to do it by the book. Get some empirical evidence here and data that we can use to design with. And then, and then once you have it done, then you can do some fine-tuning by ears. But you do all your main steps using the data, and then you fine tune using your ear. And look at that, it's just spazzing out because I'm talking. But uh, so yeah, so that's that. That's a quick little brief uh, tutorial on, on if you're gonna play with your speaker crossovers, you know, or if you just wanna measure them just to see, you know, um, another thing right now, I'm just doing individual drivers by themselves, but I could hook it all back up and then I could put the mic in the middle, like right here, and I could get a full frequency response of the room and everything. We could get reverberation and all this other crap that shows us what what how the room screws everything up, but um, so uh, so there you have it. That's a little quick little peek into uh, how I uh, go at you know changing or, or, or determining what where a speaker is, what it's made of, because you know it's it's so crazy. The specs sometimes are so different than what you measure. It's not even funny. So, anyways, thanks for joining. I'll see you guys soon. See you.